Geneva the latest on developments regarding the Zika virus all times local. 4.45 a.m. The government of Honduras has declared a state of national emergency, saying it has recorded 3,649 suspected cases of Zika virus infections in less than three months. Health Minister Yolani Baders is urging Hondurans to clean up their homes and communities and remove outdoor water containers that serve as breeding grounds for the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes that can transmit Zika. The Health Ministry says the government has reactivated the National Risk Management System to coordinate preventive measures against Zika. Thousands of teachers, students, parents and public officials have begun eradicating breeding sites around schools in the Central American country. Monday's announcement came hours after the World Health Organization called the Zika outbreak in the Americans an international emergency. Underscore underscore underscore. 4.15 a.m. The president of the International Olympic Committee is expressing confidence there will be good conditions for athletes and spectators at the Rio de Janeiro Games this summer despite the explosive spread of the Zika virus in the Americas. Speaking in Los Angeles on Monday, Thomas Bach praised the steps being taken to combat the outbreak. He also welcomed the declaration by the World Health Organization earlier in the day that the Zika outbreak is an extraordinary event that is an international emergency. Bach notes that the announcement did not involve the travel ban and he emphasizes that the Rio Olympics will be held in August during Brazil's winter when cooler temperatures can cut down mosquito populations. Doc is in Los Angeles touring proposed venues in that city's bid to host the 2024 Olympics. Underscore underscore underscore. 1.30 a.m. The Brazilian Health Ministry is welcoming the World Health Organization's declaration that the Zika virus outbreak in Brazil and elsewhere in the Americas represents an international emergency. In a statement released late Monday, the Health Ministry says the designation made earlier in the day will help countries around the world develop a coordinated effort to combat the virus. The statement notes who did not suggest that people stay away from or stop doing business in areas with outbreaks of Zika, which is believed to be linked to microcephaly, a rare birth defect that causes abnormally small head size and brain damage in infants. Who is recommending that visitors and residents in affected areas, especially pregnant women, take measures to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes that transmit the virus? Underscore underscore underscore. 12.15 a.m. Brazil's health ministry says it will make it mandatory for local governments to report cases of the Zika virus. A statement provided to the Associated Press late Monday says concrete steps will be taken beginning next week. Currently, mandatory reporting is not in place. No vaccine or treatment currently exists. Researchers say that to combat the virus, they need to get a better handle on the total number of cases in Brazil and several other countries with outbreaks. The virus is thought to have been introduced into Brazil during the 2014 World Cup. Advertisement continue reading the main story. Brazilian officials believe Zika infections may be linked to high number of cases of microcephaly, a rare birth defect that causes abnormally small head and brain damage in infants. Underscore underscore underscore. 11.40 p.m. The Brazilian president's chief of staff says it will take researchers between three and five years to develop a vaccine against the Zika virus. Jacques Wagner told reporters Monday that Brazilian researchers are working with researchers in the United States. In his words, if we are really lucky, it could be three years.